Hey, what's up, y'all? Neo the Don coming at y'all. Uh, just wrote this rhyme this morning. I called it Filling Us. You know what I mean? And uh, right now, as a black people, you know, black our uh, black people, our government is failing us. You know what I mean? I mean, we getting this many people with poli police brutality. You know, we seen the girl in South Carolina getting just slung across the classroom. You know, people getting choked to death. People getting shot, unarmed. You know what I'm saying? Just coming home from work or something and, you know, just getting killed and, you know, so-called mistaken identity and all these kind of things. And, you know, just the same kind of stuff that used to happen in the 60s and stuff, man. You know, mistaken identity. Uh, yeah, we thought he was some this person and that person. They all look the same, right? Not really. You know, but uh, I know it's a tough job, you know, for, for police officers as well. You know, to distinguish who are the criminals and who not. I'm not a police officer, so I never had to do that. So, you know, as far as, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm not, you know, condemning them, but I'm saying, come on now. You know, we got all these other races, you know what I'm saying? And they not getting killed. You're not seeing on the news how they getting killed all the time, you know, by mistaken identity. And, you know, and he was unarmed and he just got shot and killed. And this, and you're not hearing that, you know. You might hear, oh yeah, they were unarmed and uh, you know, or armed or whatever. But oh, uh, we got them. You know, they went and killed and shot a whole movie theater up or church or this and that. But they somehow they came out alive. Caucasian guy, young guy, they they come out alive and you go go shoot up a church and they, you know he's white and he somehow comes out alive. You know what I'm saying? But a black man walking home from work. You know what I'm saying? Or going to the store in the hoodie, you know what I'm saying, in the wrong neighborhood, he gets killed. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? That just, that's, or, you know, strangled to death. Or, you know, he was selling illegal, illegal cigarettes. So, you know, we had to gang up on him. And, you know, he, how, how, just, you got tasers. You got all kinds of weapons. No, you know, no, not deadly force. You know what I'm saying? You have all kinds of weapons to, and you all got all kinds of backup. You're going to outnumber the person. What can they really do? You know, they're unarmed. You know, they're outmanned. They're out, you know, you got all the gadgets. You know, you like Batman out there. You know, your belt is like Batman. You got all kinds of things. So, you know, why, why are people getting killed? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't know how to handle us. Are we that much stronger? No, come on now. You know what I mean? Like, we not. You know, we normal humans just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's just, it's, it's something else behind that, you know. And I'm saying, you know, our justice system is failing us. And then they, the police officers, you know, either they, they might get fired, possibly. They might take a leave of absence with pay. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, and then uh, they don't get charged with, charged with nothing, you know, even though we know the other person was unarmed and this and that and the witnesses say this and that, you know, and that he wasn't, you know, he wasn't aggressive towards them. And, you know, we seen one one of them, you know what I'm saying, just straight up shoot the dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the guy, you know what I'm saying, he straight up shot the guy in the back, you know what I'm saying? And if it wasn't for the person having the, the, the camera recording it, you know, then we would have, the story would have been black man tries to kill police officer armed armed and dangerous the police officer killed him that's that but since we saw you know the the the, the scenes behind the scenes you know what i'm saying i don't know how y'all hiring what your hiring process is i don't know what's going on but i don't know why these people are straight up killing black people and trying to cover it up like it's a, a game or something you know what i mean so uh you know, but but that story, you know, because the person had recorded it, you know what I'm saying, and then let it out to the public, you know, now you know that that story was actually the guy was unarmed. I think he had his hands behind his back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The guy just straight up shot him in the back. You know what I'm saying? Then went, planted a, a taser on him or a gun or something. I can't remember. And, you know, but he planted something on it. It wasn't going to be the, the the real story that he was going to give to his captain. It, that wasn't going to be the real story he gave him. But because, you know, he got caught, of course, he got fired and all those kind of things. But if he hadn't got caught, he would have went on about his life. He would have went on and did it to somebody else again, you know what I'm saying, and framed them and put drugs on them and this and that. You know what I mean? It's a dirty game out here, y'all. You know what I mean? And uh, Lord Jesus, protect us all. In Jesus' name, you know, that's all a man can really come to, you know, when the justice system 
is failing us. You know what I'm saying? Well, Cause that's what we, you know, look for to protect. That's what we look for to protect us in time of need. You know what I mean? You know, and it's, and if we can't go to them, you know, the only next person we go to is the Lord. I mean, you know, we always going to go to the Lord first of all, but I'm just saying like humanly speaking, we, we should be able to go to our, to our government and, and get things changed and say, Hey, this is a problem here. And what's going on and why is this happening and this and that, you know, but you know, it's, it's looking bad out here, you know, and anybody that's ever stepped up from what I've studied and, you know, spoke out against these ills, uh, social ills of uh, this, you know, police brutality and, you know, all of these unfair treatment of African-Americans, black people, you know, uh, somehow they've been silenced some way, somehow, you know. So, uh, like I say, you know, pray in Jesus. I pray in Jesus name that, you know, people will step up and, and speak against these things, you know, speak against police brutality and, you know, shed light that, you know, hey, we're not going to shut up. We're not going to be quiet. You know, we're going to say what we have to say, what's on our mind, because, hey, they're going to kill us anyway. So. Why not speak out about it? They gonna do it to you anyway. They trying to kill your kids. That's obvious. They throwing them around the classroom. What what they gonna do when when she's on the streets and nobody's looking? They gonna kill her. They ain't gonna just throw her across the across the the way. You know what I'm saying? So they not just gonna just gonna assault her in the classroom. A little girl, defenseless, a little twig compared to you. You understand? They not gonna just they not gonna just do that behind closed doors with nobody looking. They gonna really, really hurt your daughter. You understand? So you better be thankful she was in the classroom, man. And that's a little girl, and but you know, not a grown, not even a grown lady. You know what I'm saying? And that's still crazy, man, for a man to treat a woman like that. But uh, you know, anyway, man. Uh, so yeah, so we got it like this, man. So uh, cause man, that's 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 bull crap. Uh, so yeah, so this is called failing us, man. Black people, we've been beat down forever. It ain't getting no better. That's why I'm getting my cheddar. Dear President, I wrote you this letter. Why is police brutality towards black people so real? Being a so-called black man, how does that make you feel? That's how I know you don't really run shit. This vicious violence against our people would have already changed. Instead, things are getting worse. Now, don't you find that strange? From having black faces as your target at the range to being strangled to death. Then these aggressive murderers don't get don't even get charged. Look out, America. They probably still got their job. These killers are still at large. Demons in uniforms with no heart. They're ready to take another black life. No gun or weapon means no bullets should be fired. The justice system is failing us. Some of y'all should be fired. If we find out that they're a liar, don't support them. That's my desire. Police are here to serve and protect, not break a nigga's neck. They want us to self-destruct. That's what our oppressors expect. With a lot of help from them. But where of God's wrath, his anger is filled up to the brim. You know, so like I said, we got to go to the father. You understand in prayer as prayer warriors, there's nothing we can do physically. You understand except for pray, ask for what God want us to do in this time of oppression and follow his lead. You know, wait for him and listen to him and follow his lead. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and we're going to get there. You know, that's the first step is to, to, to depend on him because our, our government is failing us. You understand? So what else can we do but to go to the Lord? We can't we can't handle it all. We can't put it in our hands because, you know, it's a it's a it's a system of things. You understand? So, you know, we can't go. They can go against us and not, nothing happen to them. You understand? And they still be in their positions and, and they will be justified in their own system that they made for themselves. But. Us living in the system that they made and not being a part of the decisions that they make makes us, you know, in God's eyes, not below them, but they're in their eyes below in their system, which they run and control. They find us to be minuscule. 
And what we say is, it doesn't matter to them because they're going to do what they want to do and they're going to stay in the positions that they are already in. And we can't change that. So what we have to do is we have to talk to our Lord, believe in our Lord Jesus, you understand, and, you know, trust in him and, and, and talk to him and get together, you know, as, as one, you understand, those who are feeling what I'm saying, you know, and those who know that the system is failing you. You know, you know who you are. You know what's going on. You know how the conditions of living in the hood. You understand? Most black people do. You understand? So, and that's just the guy's honest truth. You understand? And uh, so we all, y'all know where I'm coming from. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know the obstacles that we have in front of us, you know, as well as the social ills amongst each other. You know, we got to stop killing each other for one. That for one. That That first step right there. To stop killing each other, that first step is a huge step. Because then that shows, okay, you know what? Hey, they, they know how to act. You understand? They not killing each other. Okay, you know, we might have some fights here or there. You know, take it back old school, man. Just fight with a nigga. Fight a nigga. You understand? You got to kill a nigga, man. It just, it's just crazy, man. Like... You fight it, you square away, you live to, to, to shit. It's cliche, you know, but it's that line. You live to, to fight another day. You know, that gunplay, there ain't no fighting to live another day. And your life is gone. And you going up a creek. And you going to jail. You going to prison. You know what I'm saying? Not only did you end that man's life, now your life is in prison. You cannot blossom to do nothing but stay in there. You know what I'm saying? You can do accomplish things, I'm just saying, but... You know what I'm saying? You will be limited, you know, when you could be free. You know, we all can be free. You understand? Stop killing each other. The first thing. Stop killing each other. Black on black crime. Let that when that ends, you know what I'm saying? When that ends, that's gonna be the beginning. If you want your kids to live in a better place, if you want them to be have a better future than what we've had, you know what I'm saying? Than what we've had to live in, you know. As African Americans growing up in this country, you know, like I say, predominantly most of us are gonna come from the hood. You understand? So y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? If y'all want the little kids to have a better life, first stop killing their uncles and brothers and 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 future grandpas and all that. First of all, stop killing us off. You understand? We doing a job. We doing the oppressor's job for for them. So stop killing each other. First of all. You understand? You you got a problem, somebody box about it. You know what I'm saying? Fight about it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But not not physically killing each other. You know what I'm saying? With guns and, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I ain't, I ain't condoning the fight neither, but I'm just saying like I would rather I'd rather somebody fight over an argument than go straight to the pistol and you know, kill somebody and then like I said, your life is over, their life is over. You know what I'm saying? And other people, they, that was somebody's daddy, you know, that was somebody's brother. That was now your family in danger. Now, you, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a chain reaction, man. You understand? So, somebody going to want revenge. Somebody going to want this and that. Then you got to look, be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. And his son might grow up and he want to get you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you thought you, you was away from it 25 years down the line. He find you and he's bigger boss than you. And he, he, you gone. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come back one day. So all I'm saying is, man, you know, while we here on this earth, you know what I'm saying, all the people in the earth, you know what I'm saying, this thug nation that the Lord says that I'm going to speak to and preach to, you know what I'm saying, uh, and prophesy to, you know, just like Pac did. Those people, you know, we got to stop killing each other. We, we we cut that down. Now, like I said, they're going to say, okay, well, we can't keep playing it off that they just, you know, they, they just monsters and this and that because look they not even killing each other no more now they not even killing each other no more okay they working together to do to make things happen or whatever okay so we can't just keep putting on the news how they just murking this and murking that you know because it's that's that's out the picture now so that's gonna make the perception of the people that's condone that's not with us that's not on our side that's gonna make them understand okay you know what it's not their fault it's really, these police really are just killing them, and they really are, like, innocent, you know. But right now, the perception of us is that, you know, we all gangsters and killers. I've never been a gangster. I've never been a killer. I'm black. I'm African-American. Been there my whole life. Have no criminal record. I'm 30 years old. Nothing. Just clean. Wipe slate. Slate. Clean. You feel me? 
So don't 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 play the games, man. It's everybody not like that. So love y'all, man. I just wanted to holler to our peace.